And we're back, and uh, the camera's all charged up, ready to go. But before we uh, turn this bad boy on, I'd like to uh, show you guys some of the little features here, just to give you guys an idea of uh, what to uh, look forward to. So, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the Canon PowerShot SX230HS. It has a 14x optical zoom, two stereo mics right here. This is the little, like, uh, I guess this is the, uh, the red eye reducer thingamajigger. And uh, it has a pop-up flash right here. Bam. And uh, yeah, the lens is really good. It's a uh, the lens is a 28 millimeter wide, according to the box. See, 28 mil millimeter wide. High sensitivity CMOS. Like I said, 14x zoom, and it has built-in GPS, which we'll get into in just a sec. All right, so that's uh, on the front. Let's turn around to the back where the magic happens. Um, <laughs> so you got the uh, wheel to go through your different settings and stuff like that. A dedicated video record button, which I like. Uh, I guess like a play button to review through your pictures and video and stuff. And uh, an actual wheel. I know that a lot of cameras in this price range, like the, uh, the Panasonic camera that I wanted, have a touch screen uh, function. But I'm, I'm not real com too comfortable with it because as you can tell, I barely touched the uh, the screen here, and you can still see like gunk marks and stuff all over it. You know, I even tried cleaning it off too, but barely touched it. So I think, from what I've gathered so far, the one flaw that I've seen of this is that the screen is glossy. So in like really bright settings, it'll be kind of hard to see, and also you know just gunking it up. So I think that maybe like a satin screen or something like that would be best. But eh, I'm just nitpicking. So you know, on-off button. Full HD and uh, switching to the top we have I'm assuming that's the microphone and it records at 12.1 megapixels by the way uh, has a GPS system for uh, geotagging your images so it basically like tracks your location and uh, it attaches a little bit of data to each picture possibly video I'm not sure but it does it with pictures I just recently learned about it and it just attaches a location so that way if you're busy sorting through photos and you don't know where they were um, yeah you can figure that out so there's a the little zoom button you know zoom in zoom out or whatever and then you know little <laughs> the shutter button where it's always been since the beginning of time and right here I've attached the lanyard the lanyard wasn't attached before but here's a little lanyard attached thing this is on the if you're facing the camera this way it'll be on the left side so turning it this way you got the HDMI AV out majigger. See, you got the little plugs right up in there. And uh, just put that back. Then, if you're facing the camera this way, it'd be the right side. Turning it over here is nothing. Nothing. And going to the bottom, you got the uh, battery slide out thing. You just slide that out. And there's the battery. There's the SD card, which I have installed. Slide that in. There's the tripod mount. And that about does it for uh, just the outside look. So let's turn this bad boy on and get through the features. Whoa. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> All right. So as you can tell, this is a very nice, very nice LCD screen. And... Uh, it actually has uh, something called picture tracking, so it can track uh, different focal points. Like right now, it's tracking the remote. And if you'll notice, let's see if I could do this real quick. If I move the remote, see, it tracks the remote. Like it, like it, it won't do it if I do it too fast. See, it kind of loses it. But if I just kind of hold it and just like, it, come on, it'll kind of focus in and sort of track it. But yeah, so. You guys get the idea. And let's see. Um, I don't have enough time to go through all the different features, but uh, yeah, let's just go through like the ma the menu and stuff like that. Uh, you can change whether or not you have digital zoom, uh, magnified view of focused areas, yeah, wind filter, blah blah blah. blah you know the usual stuff. And you go through, this is a little scroll wheel, and then you can like 
it's also directional too, so it's kind of like the uh, like an iPod basically, and you got the center button right there. So, yeah, if you're familiar with uh, the iPod setup, this is pretty much second nature to you guys. And you got LCD brightness, formatting. Yeah, nothing too uh, mind blowing here. So we'll just hit menu, and get that out of there. Display has some, you know, you can turn on and turn off the little helper units like the battery and stuff like that and uh, let's see you can also like right now it's on auto so it can cycle through the different things depending on what is in the image right now like if I have a close-up image it'll probably change it to macro see the little thing changed to a, a flower because I have an image close up and if I move it away it'll just go back okay it already went back to auto move it back and it's back to macro. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, it can go through a bunch of different other features, you know, just you know, like that, I guess. And then right now it has the, the flashes off. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it with the, uh, the camera. It's kind of hard to do the zoom since I'm in a room. So, I mean, if I just zoom it all the way, like, bam, I'm already, like, in my wall. And it's not even zoomed out all the way. You know, just it that's as far extended as it can go, and then there's all the oh. yeah, it's all the way back. Let's go through some of the features right now. Auto, like I said, just automatically adjusts depending on what's going on. Like, you know, if, like I said, if you get, like, close-up images, it adjusts it to macro and stuff like that. So, let's flip through the images. Right now, we're on easy mode, which uh, is pretty self-explanatory. It just makes things a lot simpler. And then switching to movie digest, which uh, takes a clip from each shot and makes a summary of it. So, it's kind of like a kind of like a slideshow from what I'm assuming. Uh, portrait, that's more for... Uh, People shots, obviously. Landscape, same, you know, except for landscape. <laughs> Kids and pets, this is for, uh, like, sporting events and stuff like that. This is for active shots. So, smart shutter, uses face detect. And you get the fisheye effect, which is kind of like a, yeah, see, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. It's like, woo, woo. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And you got standard. You know, just standard camera mode. And uh, right now you got got uh, different manual modes. So you can set it for maximum flexibility, adjust ISO settings, stuff like that. And then you got aperture priority. Uh, so I guess they're like active shots and stuff like that. Like a lot of these advanced settings I don't know anything about. Actually, this is for active shots, I guess. Then you can program it, and we're back to auto. So... Like I said, I don't know too much about this camera because uh, <laughs> I just got it, so I can't really go through a lot of the features. But I thought I'd let you uh, go through like the menu and stuff like that. So, yeah. There it is, the Canon SX230HS. So that was the basic feature set of the Canon PowerShot SX230HS. <laughs> I still gotta remember the acronym. So, uh... Uh, before we go, I'll give you guys some uh, quick video samples just to give you guys an idea of the quality difference between my regular Sanyozaki SH-1 and the, uh, the Canon PowerShot. So, through the magic of video editing, we'll take you there now. Stay tuned.